Hey guys, I've got some updates for you. The first thing I want to do is finally wrap up this gobble gum community challenge. Earlier today, it was completed to a hundred percent. So we have all four tiers unlocked now. There were some people in the community hoping for a little more than just a set of the, you know, ultra rare for the final tier, but it looks like that's all we're getting. There's no other hidden secrets behind this. And for the final tier, everybody got one of the ultra rare gobble gum. So starting from head drama down to shopping free and all four tiers combined gives everybody 44 gums total so one of each of all the mega and today is probably going to be the last day for a discount from newton's cookbook and today's special is raindrops you can get one of those for one head drama next in the news will make today a very interesting day so activision recently announced that they're going to start hosting their own weekly live streams on twitch if you guys remember last week, they did one on a Wednesday. So they're doing them every Wednesday, it seems. And last time it stirred up a lot of conversations about the possibility of Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. An editor from Activision, his name is Kevin Kelly. He was hosting the stream and about halfway through the stream, he just randomly got up and grabbed some goggles that were Modern Warfare 2 Prestige Edition Night Vision goggles. And he, you know, played with them for quite a while and it had the, you know, chat stirred up that maybe this was some kind of hint for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered because he was also talking about how they were going to be making an announcement this week. Well, they did make an announcement and it was about the DLC to release for World War II and I'll cover that in just a moment. But they're doing another live stream today, possibly around 4.30 p.m. Pacific time. And since people are hellbent on getting some information about Modern Warfare 2 Remastered and, you know, how much the community will not stop talking about this, yeah, people are expecting some kind of an announcement or something to be said in the live stream today. It was literally 5 a.m. Central Time when I took the screenshot. People are already in the chat and they're already asking about Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. So you know this chat is not going to let up when they start this live stream today. There are some community members saying they've got sources that yeah they're going to talk about it and announce it and they're even making bets with people. I'll show you that later on. No one knows the exact time for when this live stream is going to start but you can follow them you know on Twitch or Twitter and you know it'll be sometime today and I'll definitely retweet it and I'll definitely be there. So if you guys want to hang out, yeah, come say hi. But on to the World War II DLC 2 announcement that happened yesterday. So originally this had leaked on a website, a French website called Micromania. This showed up on Reddit and somebody had noticed this. And this website is actually partnered with Activision and they had a listing for Call of Duty World War II DLC 2 calling it the war machine. This news spread pretty fast and before you knew it, yeah, they announced it. Yeah, this is going to be called the war machine DLC 2 pack for World War II. What's really interesting is the release day and I'll go over that in just a moment but the zombies map is gonna be in Berlin but that had been leaked like four months ago and it's gonna be called the Shadowed Throne. The screenshot looks pretty nice with a napalm type zombie and then like a fiery background. This go around we don't know a lot about this DLC. We knew that it was gonna be Berlin four months ago. Shout out to Lime Tiger but we don't know anything else and good news is that there's been no leak about Easter egg steps. World War II Zombies has a history of not being too secure with their steps, but this DLC has nothing leaked, so it should be a really entertaining Easter egg hunt for all the YouTubers and the community that's involved. And I wanted to find out how much of the community that follows me is actually going to be playing it. And it looks like about 36%. I mean, it's still got a lot of votes to go, but it's really hovering at that number. If you compare that to how many people that follow me played Black Ops 3, it was about 96%. So, I mean, that's a big difference. But moving on to this release day, so I'm usually pretty OCD about tracking DLC and the release days. I mean, I've made like full on calendars and calculated out the last three years. It just helps me as a YouTuber, you know, know what to expect and then, you know, show you guys what to expect as well. There's only so many days that a developer has to get all four DLC out and they try to space it out, you know, pretty nicely. And bo 23 iw has all released in the middle of April for their DLC 2s. It's ranged between the 17th through the 19th and it was expected for DLC 2 World War 2 to come out on the 17th of April. I mean that would be right on schedule but they're releasing it a week early and announcing it a week early and people are speculating as to why this could be. One really intelligent speculation came from the community and that was that they know Black Ops 4 is releasing a month early so maybe they're trying to shave some days off of these future DLCs to try to you know scoot that back a little bit 
and have the fourth DLC not release so late and like crash into the release of Black Ops 4. Other speculation and based on the fact that there's a lot of leaks going on for the Modern Warfare 2 remastered, you know, possible release and it maybe even being in April could be the reason why Sledgehammer is releasing the DLC early and announcing it early. They're trying to beat that release and that announcement so that they don't have to compete with it so much. So even though Kevin Kelly said that there would be an announcement and we already got one for, you know, the DLC 2 for World War II, people are still hanging in there and really hoping that this live stream is going to be something. Like they're going to finally say something. There's one community member that claims to have leaked a lot of stuff for BO2 and BO3 and has been banned from Twitter because of it. And they've started a new account and they are going off and they're saying it's going to happen today and they guarantee it. This guy's tweets are actually getting quite a bit of attention and people are listening and they're really hoping so. He's even making a bet saying that if it's not true, he's going to delete a bunch of stuff and pay people a lot of stuff. So there are definitely people out there keeping the community entertained and, you know, keeping the hope alive. Also, this morning, which was, I don't know, just a couple hours ago, the pre-order came available on PS4 store. And I don't think it was available yesterday. But yeah, you can finally pre-order it. But I hope this helped you guys out. And we'll see you next video.